Hi everyone, so um, in this video uh, we're going to slow the pace down a little bit. We're just going to have a look at um, creating um, address objects within Forty Manager and then we're going to have a look down the left hand pane a little bit, see what we can find and explore. We'll, we'll do some tips and tricks. Um, as always, this video is a part of a series so make sure that you're, if you're tuning into this video first, that you're clicking into the playlist and starting from video number one. Um, otherwise, things are all going to be a little bit out of sequence and potentially might not make any sense uh, onto the agenda for this video. So I just thought I'd have a little bit more of a look around um, what else is available now that we've covered policy packages in quite a lot of detail. <clears throat> so you've got your firewall objects, security profiles, user and authentication, security fabric and advanced. So let's have a look at firewall objects. So let's create some firewall objects here. So we'll just do... Um, just do some well-known DNS servers, Google DNS. <clears throat> Try and make it realistic. Uh, we'll keep the interface on any for the moment. Let's do that. So Google DNS should be in there. We'll do, <clears throat> we'll do Cloudflare as well. Yeah, Cloudflare. So we've got Google and Cloudflare in there. We'll do an we'll do an address group as well. Add these two in group. So two DNS servers and the DNS server group there. So let's look at how we might apply these address objects that have been configured on the Forty Manager policy package, going to special policy package. Then we go to the destination and we'll just apply the group DNS. We'll just do a bit of a mixture. So we'll apply the group on that one. Google on this one. And Cloudflare on this one. Oh. Cool. So that is in now. So now we need to apply the policy package. You see that it's modified. Just um, install wizard, policy package, special policy package. We'll do it to both units. <clears throat> we'll do an install preview. Make sure that everything is it should as it should be. Yep, yeah, so see that it's configuring the firewall address and it's adding them to the policy. Uh, we'll just install that. Okay, now it's gone. Uh, so let's log in to the device. Usual process on this channel. Yeah, you can see that they're in there. So they have now applied. So that shows you how to apply um policies um using faulty manager attaching them to policy packages that kind of thing um just something that i like to do um i'm not a big fan of the the different subheadings being at the top so you've got firewall objects and within firewall objects you've got addresses internet service services schedules vips and i pools uh i actually prefer them to be on the side view. So you just click that button over there. 
But um, yeah, to apply any of these, it would be the same method as we, we've just done. So we'll just glance over that. Uh, security profiles. There's a video on antivirus on the channel. I'll link in the top right. There's a video on web filtering. I'll link in the top right. There's a video on DNS filter. Again, in the top right. There's a video on application control. Again, in the top right. And then there's my most popular video on intrusion prevention in the top right now. Okay, so we've now gone to user and authentication. Uh, one of my absolute favorites, if I, I must say. So we've got user definition, user groups, LDAP servers, very important, uh, radius servers, even more important, and then SAML servers becoming uh, increasingly more important. Okay, so something that I wanted to cover was revision history. Um, so uh, a revision history is taken for lots of different uh, types of configuration within Forty Manager. It can often be your get out of jail card or um, extremely useful for seeing what uh, end users or um, your, um, your colleagues have been up to. Um, if you look at this one here, Google DNS, you can see that there's a number three next to it. There's three different revisions or been three different amendments to that object. You can click into it. Um, you can see the username that it was um, changed by, the date and the time, what was happened, what, what the difference was. So if I do a diff between number revision number one and revision number two, you can see that I changed from a slash 32 to a slash 24 here and here. Uh, and you can actually also revert back to specific revisions. So if I wanted to revert back to the initial revision, then I would simply tick that this box, click revert. And um, next time that the policy package is pushed out, it will revert back to the initial configuration. So extremely useful. Um, and I've often seen this as a get out of jail card for, for, for mistakes. So that brings this video to a close. Um, there are some uh, menus down the um, left-hand pane that I've not covered. So VPN manager will be covered extensively as part of this series anyway, specifically the SD, the orchestrator, um, that kind of thing, AP manager, 40 switch and extender manager. They will also be covered potentially in future videos as will fabric view. Um, and in the first video, we already covered system settings. Um, so as always, this video series is relatively fast paced. Um, I'm releasing a video every 24 hours, 48 hours or so. Um, so please make sure you check the um, playlist to see if the next video is available because it may well be already.